Hi guys, I don't know if you've heard, but two Nigerian brothers are presently in prison in America for what is called sextortion. Sextortion is when somebody on the internet, usually on a social media platform, tricks someone else into sending them nude pictures or videos and then demands for money or other things while threatening to share the pictures or the videos with the world if they don't give them what they've asked for. So basically they get you to send your nude pictures and then they use it to blackmail you. So in 2022, these Nigerian brothers, 24-year-old Samuel Ogoshi, 21-year-old Samson Ogoshi, and a third suspect, Ezekiel Robert, used a hacked Instagram account of an American teenage girl to send messages to a 17-year-old high school student, Jordan DeMay, in Michigan. So they were pretending to be a beautiful girl that was interested in him. And they did all this from Nigeria, by the way, from Lagos, Nigeria. And while chatting with him, they convinced him. Well, he thought that it was the girl that convinced him, but they convinced him to send nude pictures to this fake girl. And he did. And that was when they now revealed that they are actually scammers and he must send them $1,000. If not, that they will send his nude pictures to all his Instagram friends, that they've already screenshotted all his Instagram followers, and that they've already known his school based on his timeline and that they will send the pictures to his school. Unfortunately for Jordan, all this happened in the middle of the night. His parents were not aware that he was chatting with a fake girl. He started at night and they were already in their rooms. And so he sent this Nigerian guys all that he had, $300. They said it wasn't enough. They kept threatening to release the pictures and this exchange went on for hours. He begged and begged and begged them, they refused. And then he said at this point, there's nothing else for him to do than to kill himself. And the Nigerian guys responded in the chat, good, do it fast or I'll make you do it, I swear to God. So while his parents were sleeping in the middle of the night, they suddenly had a gunshot. Jordan killed himself that night, guys. Do you know that from the moment that they started chatting with him to the moment that he killed himself, everything happened within six hours in the middle of the night. And during their investigation, the police looked through his phone and they saw his messages with the Nigerian brothers. And so it became a federal case. FBI took over the investigation. They contacted the Nigerian government asking them to release the suspect and extradite them to the US for justice. The Nigerian government agreed. They extradited the two brothers earlier this year. In April, they both pleaded guilty. And this month, September, they were sentenced to 17, 17 and a half years in prison. The third suspect, Ezekiel Robert, is still fighting his own extradition at the Nigerian court. He is fighting not to be brought to the US. Huge shout out to the Nigerian government for working with the FBI to make this happen. Honestly, we truly appreciate you. According to the Justice of the Department, Jordan is just one of 100 victims of this Nigerian guys. Just this three Nigerian guys, 100 victims, and about a dozen of them are minors. First of all, my deepest condolences to Jordan's family. Honestly, I can't even imagine what they've been going through since this thing happened in 2022. They were all home inside their house. They thought that their children were protected. They were safe, you know. But somehow these Nigerian guys found their way into the life of their son. And whether directly or indirectly, they killed him. So it's basically like living in a nightmare since this thing happened. So I the best condolences to them. And before I talk about the scammers, I want to encourage parents to please ensure that the kind of relationship you have with your children is the kind that allows them to feel free with you, even when they've messed up to the point that they can share anything with you. And please, I'm not saying that Jordan's parents didn't have that kind of relationship. I am not blaming them at all. And if you've lost somebody to suicide, please, I'm not blaming you or any of their loved ones. I'm trying to make sense of what happened, even though it doesn't make any sense. I'm just trying to see how we can all learn. And I'm still new to parenting myself, so I'm not in any position to give any parental advice. But I think your children should feel free to discuss anything with you, especially the things that they struggle with. And please let them know that suicide is never, ever, ever 
the answer. African parents especially, you tend to have such high expectations. Please don't be so hard on your children that they are trying too hard just not to let you down, just not to disappoint you. Some of you have never actually called your children just to let them know that you are proud of who they are as a person, regardless of academic or professional achievements. Do you know that it's okay to tell your child, you know, I like how you are such a good listener or I like how you don't spend all your money. I'm so proud that you have savings. It will really help you later in life. If you have a young man that treats women with respect, let him know. Omo, I appreciate how you treat the women around you with dignity. Keep doing it. Your wife will really enjoy you someday. Or if you have a child that eats healthy, let them know. You know, I appreciate that you eat balanced diet. I want 